What's going on guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at this online procedural texture creation site called Architectures. Now shout out to Ask NK because it's through him that I found this website but today we're going to be looking over it and see whether it's really viable or not. So let's get started. Okay so as you can see it seems like they've got a load of different textures here to start with. You've got brick, you've got concrete, metal, stone, wood or you could just launch the web app and pick for yourself. So I think that's what I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna go launch web app, let's get started. Okay, so it's a granite. I don't wanna start with that. Oh. Okay, so it seems that you have a pattern type that you can change. Okay, that's kinda of cool. I'm gonna go with basket weave. That looks kinda of cool. <laughs> Tiles. Okay, so you can change the texture of the town this seems like it's the region of where it's going to be there okay this is this is looking kind of cool this looks interesting you can change the width let's try 200 okay adjustments brightness contrast i'm going to leave that because we can do that when we get into blender so i'm not going to really mess with any of this stuff here you've got tint so you can change the tint of it but you can't see in real time it looks like yeah, you can't see it in real time. That's interesting. Then we have edges, edges scale. Okay, so we can make it clean or homemade. There's different types, fine. It's a lot skinnier. Okay, rough, what does that look like? That's hideous, uneven. That's not bad, I think my favorite is handmade. I'm gonna change it, I don't really like the pine. Let's go to something else, let's try it. I'm gonna go to green marble. That looks cool. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. And I'm gonna change it to hexagonal. That looks more like it. Now the edge scale, I'm gonna increase it ever so slightly. The joints, so we can change what inside of the edges looks like. Let's see what rough concrete looks like. Not bad. Let's see what a bode looks like. Let's see what Adobe looks like. Not bad either. I think I'm gonna stick to rough concrete next we're going to click download texture okay so <laughs> you're limited as to the size of texture that you can export at and you can only export the texture the base color you can't export the bump unless you pay for a pro account okay fair enough okay so we're going to get it into our scene i'm going to add a uv sphere i'm going to scale it up shade smooth add a new texture bang and this is what it looks like not bad, not bad at all. It does look pretty good, if I say so myself. Let's grab a cube and see what it looks like in a cube. Grab the material, bang. Let's extend this out. It tiles very well, in fact. It tiles very, very well, I'm quite impressed. My only concern though is the fact it doesn't come with a bump node and that could be a bother for sure. Um, but in terms of getting materials that you want quick and easy, I think it's very, very good for that. Exceptionally good for that. However, I think for most things, I'd probably stick to Texture Haven or Quixel Mega Scans or Substance Painter if I really want specific materials and I want to edit the materials myself. Otherwise, I think it is pretty good. It's pretty useful. Um, the fee to pay isn't that much, but when you have free alternatives, I don't necessarily know the need for the site like this. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. If you found this tutorial useful, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you on the next one.